Leopold. Hello. Why are you sitting out here all by yourself? That's not good for anybody good trouble. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Morgan. Mr. Strauss, you busy, my friend? Nope, I got plenty of time for you. I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. <laughs> Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. All right. All right, reclaim a debt from one of the debtors. Let's see here. Leopoldraus. Which was closer. This was closer. But we got to cross a river. Uh, eh, let's cross the river. I'm sure. How hard could that be? And life's gonna go on. That's Who's this? I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Oh, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. Man, I feel sorry for her. I really do. I feel sorry for her. But she'll figure it out. All right. Horsey! Darren! Darren! How so? Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Very well. <laughs> what the shit are we gonna do with this bear carcass? Let's go see if we can sell it in town at least. Get away from me now! Shit. You're all right, friend. Yeah. God for you, Mister. You have a good one, sir. Just trying to help. The smoke. Tyrion, you all right? Tyrion. I'm gonna have to put you out of your misery. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna, me falling off of cliffs, that's probably gonna become a normal thing. All right, we've got two rocks in front of us. How do we figure this out? We go around them. Oh, genius, Tyrion, genius. You are one smart fucking horse. Where's the smoke? We don't need no turkeys. Oh my god! Okay, good. It wasn't very steep cliff. <laughs> Up the hill. Oh wait, shit. We lost our bear carcass. Well, you know what? I'm sure someone will find it of some value. I had no idea what to do with that shit. I have no idea what to do with this shit. Where the fuck are we going? All right, this looks like a homestead to some... This looks ominous. Set in this direction. Uh, 
Uh, all right. We're gonna have to beat some senses into some of these people. One of the Strauss's dog debitors was last seen in this area. Search the area to find them and reclaim the dead. I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, you might want to talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Chick Matthews? You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, Lone Shark. Chick. All right, here we go. Chasing him down. A lone shark? I take offense to that. There's another cliff, but we're all right. Come on, horse. Come on. That is a fast fucking train. <laughs> Did you see that? Come here. I've got other shit to do, like drink beer. Oh no, you better not hop on this fucking train. We're gonna hog tie you up, and then we're gonna question you. I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. You're in no place to bargain, boy. Let's see what you got. Goddamn treasure hunt! You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. There ain't no reason to tie me like this. Aren't you gonna untie me? Maybe. Or, you know what? I might just put you right here. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Now, you gonna tell me where it is or what? There's bound to come another train around here, and I can wait. And I've got a nice knife right here that cut you loose. What do you said they're gonna be? You? Wait, I already got the map. No, I guess I could just carry you well. Let's take you off the tracks and cut you free. All right, I like how I just throw him on the ground. We'll cut you. We'll set you loose. Well, this is real uncharacteristic. I promise. Yeah, run. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, uh, treasure map. Great. I have no fucking idea where that is. If something should happen, no. What? I've got no fucking idea. Go to the area shown on the map. What? Man, that's really close. What a fucking treasure map to be right next door. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. Ugh. Big ass tree. Cool. Uh, 
Ah. There we go. Come on, girl. Now where? All right, Lily. Let's not make this hard on you. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you, Lily? Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, <laughs> then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Really? Really, Cooper? You're about to get your fucking ass kicked. And you're getting your... Oh my god, this guy is... Very well. You have a nice one, ma'am. Oh, by the way. Don't run any trouble, shall ya? Hey, you know what I do to thieves? Law here. How this? I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what? <sighs> you know what? Come here. Can I confront him? Yeah, you ain't confessing to no one. Just get out of my way. You insane? You're insane. I am. I am insane. Help! Help! Hey, hey, I don't even remember what I need to forget. Assault? God damn, me. it's just one thing after another. Well, I'll just leave the hog tie. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Look out. Stop me. We're getting the fuck out of here, Jesus Christ. Leave us the fuck alone. Doggy, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. How the fuck are you still alive? I gave you two rounds. You know what? Yep. Alright, we're out of here. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Huh. Let's go see what this letter is. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. 
Who the fuck is this? What? Gentlemen. Man. She is fucking ugly. Whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> Wait, we, maybe we can examine it. <laughs> Aw. Holy shit, look at those eyeballs. They are gigantic. I'm trying to have a moment here. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Man, there's so much to do. I'm curious of what this is. Let's go into Valentine and see. Horsey! We're going into Valentine. Where are you? Tyrion! Tyrion, is that you? Yep, you've got some cougar pelt on you. Yep, that's you, boy. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's dangerous to ride at night. What the fuck? What the fuck? That sounds like a... Alright, let's just ignore that. <laughs> That is none of our fucking business. <laughs> Neither is that. Man, remember when America used to be like this? Hold on! Damn right, horse. That is a fucking cliff. How many times are gonna almost fall for that? Alright, let's be cautious about this. Cautious. <laughs> now, I have no idea who you are, but I'm gonna find out. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Who the fuck is that? Mary? Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Look at this awkwardness <laughs> from Morgan. So, uh, well, you, you've been <clears throat> you've been made a widow, and you come here looking for me. Is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I. My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me?
I will help her. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs> Man, there must be some sign. There must be some sign of dark past with this girl. I am interested. <laughs> All right. That's cool, girl. Let's see what we got. This feels like a trap. Twisted my ankle, something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah. Uh, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, come here. Where are you going? You Where to, man? Emerald Ranch. Mind taking me there? Yep, I know where that is. Glad I ran into you. I've got a two dollar and fifty cents bounty horse, there. Horse, you know, raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. God damn! Now we're gonna hear a fucking life story. But does he do something about it? Marriage for me has yeah. been nothing but trouble. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. I tell the husband, what does he do? If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. I don't worry, ma'am. I'll get you there. Even I, even if I am wanted here, I think. I think I'm wanted here. Yep. Here we go. This is great. All right, you have a nice one. You, mister. Sure Please thing. Take this as my way of thanking you. Thank you. Hmm. Appreciate it. You have a good one, ma'am. What a lousy day. Yep. <laughs> All right, now we gotta go complete this mission. All right, what was his name? Jimmy? I think it was Jimmy. Let's see what's up here. Wait here, horse. No less than the recent rediscovery of the origin. <laughs> Gentlemen. What the fuck? Shall I say? Shall I say? Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path <sighs> have you chosen, sir? What path have I chosen? Well... About this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? You know what? I am this close from shooting you. <sighs> I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? <laughs> turtles? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey. What? I turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Oh, there's turtles on their chest. Um. 
Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just what the shit? Come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh shit, alright. Uh, Jamie, don't make me do this. Jamie, I'm gonna... Don't make me do this, Jamie. Oh, God, she's gonna fucking hate me. Alright. Hey! Man. That boy must have a really good vocal tone, because I'm hearing from him from all the way over here. Jamie! Why are you so fucking fast? If you don't slow down, I will shoot you. Jamie, slow the fuck down. I can't keep up with you. We can't keep up with him. <sighs> He's gone. He's gone. You know what? I'm just gonna have to shoot his horse. How is his horse that stamina? I can't. What do you want me to do? I can't fucking keep up with it. <sighs> Jimmy. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Lightly hold R2 to begin to fill your meter. Shit. What the shit? Man, this game really throws you in the fucking deep end. What? Well, this kid's gonna shoot himself a fuck ton of times before I figure this shit out. Well, oh man, I did it for him. Congratulations. <laughs> See your sister. Okay. What the shit? Okay. Man, kid, I saw you commit suicide at least seven times. This is this is very awkward. Fool, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? No. Oh, no. 
That's all a long time ago, son. All right, let's go through the train tunnel. Nothing wrong with that. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. Huh. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Only you know, really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The <laughs> thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? <laughs> Glad we finished that. Alright, let's get out of here. Go on, Jamie. You need to open your eyes. You need to open your... Yeah, that was... I don't have to come back for that. <laughs> I'll work on it. Yes, Jamie. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. <laughs> All right, then. and then the train blows up. <laughs> A happy ending for both of us. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Well... What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Man, Arthur, you live a hard fucking life. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.